welcome to Redneck Outfitters, where the labor's cheap and the advice is free. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>
sure some uh, professional painters are probably going to be laughing at me as far as my technique here. Uh, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just painting. Um, I think painting got me a little bit nervous. Um, I think I just need to trust the paint gun more than anything, you know, get a little smoother with it and not as herky-jerky and, and in such a hurry that uh, so I can lay this stuff down a little bit smoother. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, being the first time uh, I've ever actually painted like this with a paint gun, uh, I don't think it turned out too bad. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm pretty happy with the way it went. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to doing some more, you know. Like I said, I'm going I got to do the fenders and the hood and and everything and the trunk lid. And so that's going to get me a little more practice before I actually go to do paint. So, um, but I'm looking forward to it. It was a lot of fun. <laughs>
sickness or need some Dramamine or something you might want to take it because the uh, GoPro portion is coming up and uh, like I said it's a little herky it's a little jerky you know sometimes you forget that thing's on your head and uh, you're looking around all over the place and but uh, it's pretty cool pretty cool angle so enjoy
bug project is coming along great. Uh, tried out the old Harbor Freight uh, paint sprayer today and uh, threw some primer on it. And uh, it don't look too bad at all. It really don't. Uh, I can still see that mess up on top that I had to repair. I might have to consult somebody on how to cover that up a little better. Uh, and I got one little spot like right up here that uh, apparently I missed. It's uh, dented in just a little bit, but it's, it ain't bad. As a, I looked over the rest of the car, uh, it's not in too bad a shape. You can see the holes a little bit from where they took the trim. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, I don't know if paint will cover it up. But uh, overall, I'm super happy, absolutely super happy, if this thing dries good and looks good after it dries. Uh, the Harbor Freight sprayer, the little purple gun, worked great. The, like I said, the first coat went on just beautiful. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better. And uh, when I went to the second coat, I, I don't know if I didn't get it mixed up good enough or what, uh, but I got a little bit of orange peel up on the top, which doesn't matter, we're going to scuff this up a little bit anyway, so I think I can clean it up. But uh, other than that, I'm just happy as hell that this thing turned out the way it has. Uh, it, like I said, it's not perfect, but you know, it's, it's going to be a damn good looking bug when I get done. So thanks for joining us. Hey. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Keep up with what they're doing, what we're doing, or I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I, I about ran out of time because this is the last warm weekend I think we're going to have for a while. And uh, I didn't have to get a heater to uh, put this primer on. It was warm enough in here. It's probably 75 in here right now. So hopefully everything's going to go okay there. When I go to paint it, I may have to heat up the garage a little bit. Uh, may do a little more spraying with my my gun. I still got the fenders. The uh, hood is over here. I still got to sand it down on this side and prime it. Uh, you know, so I can I can practice a little bit more on on those parts before I go to paint. So overall, <laughs> I'm happy as hell. I I couldn't be happier. And uh, so stay with us, and uh, one of these days we'll get this thing finished.